Hi YouTube, so today I'm going to show you how I make charged biochar. Now I've already showed you the biochar charcoals in one of the other videos I've done. And I've already gone ahead and smashed it up into small pieces. As you can see, it's quite dusty work so I recommend using a mask. Right, I've got about half a bucket's worth there. And to do that, all I've done is got another bucket, put a few small amounts in at a time, smashed it up with a mash hammer, and poured it into this bucket. And what we're going to do to charge it is we're going to add as many nutrients as we can, soak it, and leave it for two weeks. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to put this stuff in your soil raw, because what's going to happen is this charcoal, carbon, is going to soak up all the nutrients out of your soil which isn't what you want you want to release nutrients into the soil so what we're going to do is we're going to charge it first then dig it into the soil so it acts like a slow release fertilizer so the things we're going to be adding are some horse manure i didn't have any fresh nettles at hand so i'm going to use some of the liquid nettle that i've already got made i'm going to add some of the liquid that comes out of the worm composter going to add some organic chicken manure pellets we're going to add some comfrey leaves which I've just stripped from the plant and basically shredded with a pair of scissors and we're also going to have add I've got a 50-50 mix here of um, worm castings which is fresh out of the bin some compost also fresh out of the bin and a smidge of potash Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our dry ingredients. So we'll add this bucket first. Get that in there. So we're comfrey leaves. Get that in there. Some of the chicken manure pellets. glove on for this bit because we're going to add some of the horse manure this has actually been rotten down for nearly a year now right I'm going to pause the camera give it a good mix up and then we're going to add with liquids Okay, so we've got that all mixed up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our liquids. So I'm going to start with some of the worm liquid. Put a splash of that in. And then some of the liquid nettles. Put a splash of that in. And then we're going to put some rainwater in collected out the water butts just to cover the whole thing All we need to do now is give that a bit of a swish around with a stick, cover it with a lid, like so, leave it for two weeks and we'll come back and see what we've got. Okay, 